Welcome, welcome again to another episode of the WSXN podcast. So, let's dive into it. The South Africa Government Federal Farmer Coalition consists of the ANC party, the DA party, and the IFP. The DA leader came out and um, confirmed this. So, let's take a listen to what he's saying and then we're going to dive into it. Boom. Following the signing of this document by the leaders of the respective parties involved, including the DA, the IFP, and the ANC, the DA will now enter national government, as well as provincial government, in the provinces of Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal. The statement that emerges from the past two weeks of intense but very mature negotiations charts a new course for our nation. At the heart of this Government of National Unity statement is a shared respect and defense of our Constitution and the rule of law including the Bill of Rights in its entirety. It is a document that is realistic about the need for mechanisms to deal with the disagreements that will inevitably arise in a multi-party government, adopting the threshold of sufficient consensus that served our country well during the CODESA negotiations. The basic minimum program contained in the statement also commits the government of national unity to a path of fundamental reform that reflects many of the key pledges contained in the election manifesto of the DA and other parties, including rapid economic growth and job creation, tackling poverty and the high cost of living, building a merit-based non-partisan and professional public service that puts the people first, so there you have it. So before I dive into the um the coalition and one of why in my opinion it won't work, let's talk about the parliament. Everyone is actually now swearing in the parliament, the EFF, the uh, IFP, the DA, the ANC, the PA, all the parties who have seats sworn in and everybody has take their respective position. The they also voted on the Speaker of the House, the Deputy of the House, the Speaker of the House is from the ANC. Deputy Speaker of the House is from the, um, the DA party, and for a post, I was voted the president for the next five years. He garnered 283 votes. Julius Malema also was nominated and he got 44 votes. So, let's dive into it. The DA party um, manifesto and, um, and um, policies is polar opposite to the ANC policies. And these two Party have been at their each other's throat for the past 30 years. And the DA steadily get the same, the same amount of seats and the same amount of votes every election cycle because all the white South Africans, Africaners voted for the DA party. While ANC have a mixed draw for they got over six, votes, 6 million votes, while ANC have like 3 million. So the DA always pounding on the ANC that they are very corrupt. They are um, they are corrupt and they get the much of bribery and they can they, they have no idea of how to run the country. Their leadership is ill-equipped and cannot. But yet now the same party who have been fighting the ANC for the past thirty years now all of a sudden there's no more there's no there, there's no more corruption and the the, the, the ANC leadership is is great. That in the, just by just by those words alone shows you that the DA party is not really intend to govern in a um to govern all of Africa because you cannot be fighting somebody for thirty years and then all of a sudden everything you said is now null and void. Now they are good people and you, and you can work with them. But we're gonna see as time goes on why these two parties will not work and they're gonna be butting heads. The IFP is a new party. I wouldn't say because they have maybe like say, I think seventeen seats so it's not that great of a deal whether they take part or not. So not an issue. But the MK party and the EFF party are going to be also joint coalition to form the opposition, which is going to be very interesting because the EFF and the MK, they, they are similar, have a lot of similarities, so there's not that big of a fight between them. But they are going to be vocal moving forward. So let's see how this um, GNU, aka the Government National Unity Government, um, works up because they're already in talks to take away Kadiskan, um, the 
area from the MK because the MK1, um, they, within the MK and the EFF, they have like 39% of the votes from, from, from Cadiz. Cadiz kind of, um, the pronunciation is, is missing me, but, and then the EFF, the, the ANC, DA, and the IFP party has 40 votes. To rule um, that area, they need 41 votes, but it's 80 seats there. So it's going to be one of the smaller parties is going to be the kingmaker to see who will run that area. And the EFF party already stated that the ANC party will get into big trouble if they take away that province from the MKK. MKK they will garner the most vote in that area. They didn't got to get all of it, but they had the most votes. So that the people from Cadiz can love the, the, um, the, the MK. So it's going to be very interesting forward. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. What I think will happen. Moving forward when it comes down to the DA and the NC correlate coalition and what's gonna happen because they'll tell you they're on opposite path, opposite they see two different paths for the South Africa future. They don't have the same minds, the same policies. So we're gonna see how these two giant parties gonna come together and have one road to take to to elevate the country economically. Um bring back jobs, lower infl inflation, get back the water and electricity, um, what's it called, um, load shedding is going to help um, fix that. We're going to see how this works in the next five years. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section. As always, I don't know. Tell me to the like, comment, share. Boom.